Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Treehouse. Imagine that. Alright guys, this one is their Ace in the Hole. And it is a fairly low ABV. Uh, beer Advocate has it listed at 5%. The can says 5.2 on it. And it is a uh, American Porter. So, uh, not quite as heavy as a stout, a uh, little on the lighter color usually, not always. I've had porters that were pitch black and I've had some stouts that were not quite pitch black. So uh, meh, a little gray area there. Uh, 5.2 is what Untapped has and that's what the can has on it. So I think that's probably more reliable than what we're getting from Beer Advocate. Since they clump them all together, no matter what batch or year it is. Uh, Ace in the Holes are pre-prohibition. So before prohibition style porter. So you're going to get something that's going to be a little different. Maybe a, something like an American porter or maybe a, 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 a combination of a, of a Baltic porter uh, put together there before the, you know, we shall see. Uh, brewed with six row barley, flake corn, black malt, and our American modern yeast and a hint of molasses. Uh, flavor profile insanity, in, insanity, in, instantly, hmm, close but no cigar, transports you back to a, a historic town in our American past. Pouring a jet black color in the glass, it carries notes of coffee, chocolatey, fresh baked bread with the gentle bitterness impacted by classic Willamette hops. I have brewed with that hop before, guys, and it says it's jet black. We shall see. Uh, this time capsule is remarkably enjoyable, encapsulating a time long gone by and never to return. No doubt there. Enjoy this magnificent taste of history. And the picture looks pretty dark in the glass here, guys. So, uh, on the bottom of it, uh, it says, Share with those you love. Winter 2022. So, we have no idea there. Uh, our guesstimate with, uh, uh, with the little cheat sheet that, that we put together here uh, and help with one of my great subscribers for putting it, helping me put this together. A, a, a guesstimate of 11 22 so November 25th is uh, the guesstimate on this candle date. So, sure. but uh, nice uh, artwork. Uh, they've got their ghost treehouse logo in, in the thing there. If you look at it, you can see that. So, uh, very proud of their logo. So, into the glass we go. Eh. Eh, not quite pitch black. It's pretty dark. Uh, but uh, we shall see if I can see any light through the bottom part of the glass. I can see light through it pouring it, so it's not it's not motor oil coming out. Nice creamy looking head that it's produced already. Alright, we'll spin that around so you can see it. And it's got the information on the back there so anyway ah, finger and a half head on there very nice over into the light and I'm gonna check it out guys I'm gonna see if I can do the sun light out so it is pretty dark there may be a slight ever so slight ruby hint around the thin outside part of the glass I can't see through it so it's pretty dark for a porter. It is. It's good looking beer. And being Treehouse, mm, it could be exceptional. We shall see. To the nose we go. Nice 
nice roasted malt. Hints of caramel and toffee molasses. It's got a real nice smell. It's got a beautiful coffee aroma. Not getting a whole lot of chocolate. And according to them, they said all very much a very bit of a locker yeast in a molasses, so uh It's got a wonderful aroma, it really does. Well, it's time. Sure. That is very nice. The biggest thing that I that I have with the because the porters were done back in the seventeen hundred dock workers and stuff that that actually drink a low ABV beverage with their lunch or dinner uh, and the porters then were the three to four percent maybe it wasn't super big it was uh, something safe to drink other than the water a lot of times so uh, anyway uh, and, and they they go into the same category even at a 5.2 to me drinking the heavier stouts and the thicker stouts the lower ABV seemed to be a little thin and watery uh, so that was my biggest drawback about doing the porters now that I've got into the stouts I mean if you're doing this uh, you know maybe for the first beer of the day or, or something with the thin quality that that's going to have if you plan on having a thicker one later uh, uh, an imperial stout or something or maybe even an imperial porter if that's your style. That is a very nice combination. That works extremely well. The caramel and the toffee go exceptionally well with the roasted malt in this particular beer. Almost like bread with butter on it. Yeah, you know, what the butter does to the bread. Huh? Anyway, guys, pretty tasty. Going to sip on it. Alright, guys, I'm back. Got a little left here. Been sipping on it in at least an hour, guys. It's up to room temperature. I find it very tasty. Uh, I do. I think the malt combination with the hops, the Willamette hops, uh, along with the coffee, work very, very well for this beer. Little thin, yes. 5.2% supposed to be uh so very pleasant to me guys I mean I've been having that winter 2022 on it that's not cool to me but it is what it is I mean they they could just as easily have put to date on that so they might as well have just said happy holidays or something on there it would have been the same difference final joke I think that's a, a decent beer, guys. Uh, Ace in the Hole, not my style. I do like porters. I, I'm more inclined on the Imperial porters than I am the regulars, but for a, a very sessionable, easy drinking, smooth porter that's blended well and not too bitter, tasty. Guys, uh, if it had had a date on the bottom of it, it would have got the 90, which would have been a minus. But since it just has winter 2022, it costs you a notch. 89 for me, guys. Need that date. Got to have it on there, especially on the low ABV beers. I mean, the hops aren't going to fade or anything in this one, so that's probably why I probably got a longer shelf life. Again, uh, this beer is probably going to keep 6 to 12 months, so I mean, it's not bad, it's not tasting old or any made, but I'm just one of those guys that want to date on it. I don't care if it's a 4% or 15%. Tell me what to put in there, and then I'll make that decision. 
where I want to spend my money on it by the age or any of that kind of reference. So it's just me. Just me. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they have it 89 also in the very good range. And over to Untapped, they have it of 3.93, which is also in their B plus beers, though it's pretty unanimous. B plus, guys, B plus. But decent. I enjoyed this. Probably wouldn't purchase it again, but it was mixed in with the mix pack, so. And seemed to be the oldest left. So, with that being said, if you've had Ace in the Hole, let me know what you think. Can we meet again? It's because they were in the fridge.